Hey, Slap King here. I'm going to throw out some live dates coming up. What, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. I didn't ask you. Okay. Cleveland, Ohio at uh, Hilarity is August 15th through the 17th. Denver, Colorado, August 22nd through the 24th, which is called The Comedy Works, one of my favorite clubs of all time. We have Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Helium, I believe, September 12th through the 14th. Portland, Oregon, September 26th through the 28th, which is also a Helium, which is where the last time I took shit my pants when I got in trouble oh, because I yeah. shit all over the place. Oxnard, California, August, October 11th through the 13th. San Antonio at the LOL, Texas. October 18th to the 20th, Arlington, Virginia, November 1st to the 2nd, Omaha, Nebraska at the comic, I think it's a comic strip, mm. um, November 8th to the 9th, and the Brea, California, there's an improv there, November 22nd to the 24th, bring your grandma, bring your little baby, and I'm going to teach everyone about um, sexuality and how to oh. be, okay? Thank you, and let's go. Quip, 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 quip. You guys, um, honest truth. Hey, you want to have real talk? Yeah, let's have I'll real give you a real talk. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, my teeth are. Um, I'm just. I'm going through a Kardashian vibe with my teeth. What does that mean? It's fancy. Oh. I want my teeth to be fancy and um, Kardashian style, and um, so I've been using this new toothbrush called Quip. Oh. It's small. It it you know you use a lot of vibrating toothbrush. It's the vibrations a little too intrusive. Mm-hmm. But this one have little gentle vibrations. It's sensitive sensitive to your teeth. And I just feel like it cleans my teeth better than any other thing that I've ever used. Um, Quip is something that I use, like I use the sheets that from other brand. That, yeah. The, you know, I, I'm like Ridge Wallet for my thing. Quip is for my teeth. Yeah. And I I love it so much. I really put my reputation on the line, right? I promote Quip to the fullest. Tell them about it. Tell us about and that it. is why Bobby loves Quip. And that's why he takes it on the road with him wherever he goes. Uh, Quip just uh, starts at just $25. If you go to getquip.com slash belly right now, you can get your first refill pack for free. That's your first refill pack for free at getquip.com slash belly. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly, the podcast live. Not really. We edit it. So it's not live. <laughs> uh, welcome, though. I'm your... S- Captain, Slep King. Oh, you're going to say savior. And your savior. Yeah. I am a savior. They already know there that. There it is. Um, in this episode, I am going to try to do less, which what I mean by that is I find myself, we had Joe Coy on and some other people, and I find myself trying to be funny mm. and going, what, what? Oh, I'm not being funny. You know what I mean? And that would, and you know what? It's not about funny. It's about just, you know, staying calm. Right, doing less. You are never not funny. And less. Even in your silence, you're funny. Whether you're trying or not trying, you are just always for the rest of your life going to be the funniest person I know. Oh, man. Even at your house, the interior designers, I know, that was Gil- the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever Gilbert seen. Gilbert and I were observing laughing. you talk to the interior designer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I had to like leave because I, you just kept... I. I, I don't know if it if your jokes landed with a with one of the they guys. They landed with us. Yeah. But. <laughs> they landed with us and we kept giggling but like one of the guys was like real like a serious contractor. Y- you mean the um skinny Jewish guy? No, no, no. no. The, like the the more like the, a, Oh yeah, I like him. Armenian MMA fighter. Yeah, the yeah, Armenian, the Armenian, Armenian fighter, yeah, cause yeah. I Armenian cuz I cuz the other day I was even funnier because when I walked in there to the uh-huh. office their little store. Yeah, yeah. I go to the guy that that guy owns the whole company. Oh, Which he's the one? owner. He's the owner. The, the MMA lady. fighter? Yeah, the MMA fighter. <laughs> And I, I kept going, hey, man, don't get near me, man. You're a fuck machine. <laughs> what do you say? And he goes, why? Why are you saying that? I, I, I know Jewish dudes like you. Like Mike Young. You, I, yeah. They have the same kind of fucking look where they just like power fuck and there's no gentle breezes. Damn. Oh, my you God, I mean? you, you have to say? sometimes when you're have, making love, guys, uh-huh. you, ha- you can't be all like, 
pa, 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 like that's all power you do. fucking. That's I'm a power fucker. <laughs> but that's for because I me I get so excited and I just want to show everything. <laughs> There's sometimes you. though when you get gentle and I get freaked out. I love being slow. Slow forms great. No, 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 no. But do you do it like out of nowhere? Like you're going pop, 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 and I'll just go and I, yeah, and I'll just go yeah, and sometimes I'll just stick it in and do a hula hoop. <laughs> <laughs> My pussy that big, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a cause. Well, swab. I was it's like it's like uh, an auditorium. Like I don't a, even call it a pussy. Swabbing my uh, outside. Call it an auditorium, <laughs> and um, there's all kinds of things going on in That's there. Sad. Sweat. You can smell sweat because people work out in there. But um, thank you, I guess, for that compliment, guys. Um, I don't feel that way, and uh, less is more. And that's what I'm okay. going to do this episode. Here's another thing. I'm going to say something serious, mm-hmm. and that's been on my mind because I'm pissed off about it. Is that, and I want any potential guests from here on out on the Tiger Belly program, right? We're not yanking the fucking podcast we're not gonna edit it well ed- here's the deal if i tell people all the time you come to the podcast and after you're done if you seriously don't want something in it we will go back mm-hmm. right and edit it out but you get a 24-hour window once it's out it's out okay because we've gotten a lot of this and you have to admit it and this is from two or three guests i think, think three just one Th- I th- <laughs> no two 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 two, two. two, two, yeah. two. <laughs> Hey, can you yank the, you know, just pull the podcast because I lost a couple of acting jobs because of it. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something right now. This podcast is going to help you, not hurt you. I have been working more than ever since I've done this podcast. It's only beneficial if you come on to it. And you didn't lose the jobs because of the podcast. You lost it because you didn't get it. What about if they thought their response um, was going to be good and then it turned out that the wrath of the internet rained down on them? That's not. The internet rained down not, on uh, everyone. Hell, do I know this? Boy, <laughs> we I all know, know it. We all oh. know it. I've, since the introduction of the internet, <laughs> I've been skewed alive. <laughs> He's a gay. He does he's not funny. He's got a big head. The whole fucking thing, right? Yeah. He should never be on TV again. He sucks. All that stuff. And here's the thing. You just keep going. Mm-hmm. You don't stop. All right? So we're not doing that anymore. So we have some guests coming up. Brittany Furlons. Yep. We've got my little Mexican Bean Bean. Johnny Johnny Sanchez. <laughs> my little Bean Bean there. It's coming. <laughs> We got some big one. When we moved in the house, we've got a couple of big ones. Ooh. That's really gonna help shock everybody. I think that we should also address the fact that um, we just knocked out two hundred episodes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. And um, our two hundredth episode was supposed to be um, the transition between this studio to the new studio. Mm-hmm. But um, because we got behind on our moving timeline, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna record the very last episode here. With yeah. a bunch of fans that we're gonna personally invite. Oh, cool! When? Oh. So this house is gonna be empty. We're gonna be packed oh, with boxes, dope. and we're just yeah. gonna stack the whole house with fans. How many? I don't know. However you want. Maybe let's not like, do more than just ten. Maybe twenty. Should we invite? Twenty. Your... All right, let's do twenty. We... And we'll all sit in here, right in this room. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do. Oh, that's a but good we'll idea. I like this. it. I got like it. Should we invite your friend next door? Who's my friend next door? The one that died? No, dog poop liar. All right. Oh. All. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. People have been asking about it. Sweetie, that. the one that died <laughs> such a... can't come. I, th- I don't know. Maybe we can like... <laughs> I don't know if you realize what <laughs> death is, yeah, seance, but it's gone. Babe. Remember when you said that Lily Tomlin did a seance at the comedy store? I could potentially do the same Okay, thing. I also want to say this. I really, the other day I was driving mm-hmm. in my Prius down Sunset going about 90 miles per hour. And I thought to myself, and this thought came up, yeah, there are no ghosts. Why? Really? Yeah, that's you, what the thought in my head. You believe in ghosts. I was I, a believer. I was driving down as fast as I could, and just a, I just had an epiphany. There are no ghosts. What triggered that? I just thought about it. There's no ghosts. Just because you haven't Because No, that's not what it is. You can't even see a coyote in front of you staring right back at you. We were walking the other night and I was like, Bobby, there's a fucking coyote right one foot away from you. He's like, where? Where? I was like, right the fuck in front of your fucking face. Babe, where's it? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. That close? Fuck. Yeah. He's blind. 
Yeah, I don't believe in it because the thing is, is that you know when I was younger, you know, you know, you grew up in, in a little neighborhood, and people go, "Hey, mom." Let's go down to, you know, let's go to the old Jameson's place. Yeah. Mr. McFeely. Yeah, McFeely, right? Because <laughs> yeah. it's always, there's always one house Very that's nice. like in the Does woods, right? And then the, like you never seen the owner or whatever. And then over the years, there's like people make up stories about him. Yeah, like he microwaves puppies or whatever, right? <laughs> and you're like, oh. And so then you at three in the morning, you smoke some pot with your friends in high school mm-hmm. and you giggle and you, you know what I mean? And you walk to, you know, the McPherson's house, wherever I said the names of McFeely's. the house. The McFeely's, McFeely's house. house. And then, you know, your, your sensories, you, you can convince yourself that you see some things or you, you know, or yeah. you heard something, but it's all in your mind. Okay, so what about the comedy you, store stuff, though? Yeah, like how do you explain, like since we've been looking at homes and stuff, how do you explain the feeling we both get individually without even talking to one another? There have been some homes when we go in, we walk right the fuck back out and we're like, there's something, there's something up in huh? that home. I have a great, I have a great answer to that, friend. What is My it? girlfriend. <laughs> and my answer is this. Why am I not a criminal? You answered with a question. <laughs> why? I'm asking the room. Why am I not a criminal? Because you're a coward. You, no. Oh, okay. that's not why. I was not going to say that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You I haven't killed because someone? even if there's a point zero 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 one percent, right? That if I go to prison, that I get raped. Yeah. Okay. Right. That thought alone, that point oh 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 one percent, right? I'm not going to risk that. Right. So for me. If I have a feeling, I don't think it's a ghost, but I don't want to risk the fact, right? Because I don't want to be like, yeah, it's just in your own head. So what I'm saying is what causes the feeling? What causes the hair behind my neck to stand? What your causes... mind. No, but I go in there excited to look at a home I could potentially live in. I'm your mind, baby, your mind. I'm not looking for bad things, especially because they're homes that really look nice on in pictures. So I'm like, fuck yeah, this is the home. And you walk in and you're like, whoa, like... This just doesn't feel, this feels like some things happened here. Do you want me to put the dogs in the room? You're going to have to. It's fucking me up. Okay, go ahead. Go Sorry. Ahead. No, we have to stop. Just stop. I can't. It's fucking me up. We'll be back, guys. Hey, guys. The dogs are Hey, back. guys. Slep King here. Um, I have some <laughs> upcoming live dates coming up. No, no, that I want to talk about <laughs> We've got Cleveland, Ohio, August 15th through the 17th at the Hilarities, okay. Denver, Colorado, August 22nd through the 24th, which is called the... Um, What's it called? Wait, comedy yeah, work. Comedy work. Comedy. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At the uh, Helium, September 12th through the 14th. Okay. Portland, Oregon, September 26th through the 28th. That's a Helium as well. Yeah. Oxnard, California, October 11th through the 13th. That's a um, improv. What's it they call? Levity Live. Mm. San Antonio, Texas, October 18th through the 20th. That's a... Um, Half out loud. LOL. I was going to say it. Arlington, Virginia, November 1st to the 2nd. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska at the whatever November 8th through the 9th and Brea Improv California November 22nd through to the 24th and go to bobbylead.com and grab them before they're gone. Welcome to another episode of No, let's not start again. Tiger I just Valley. saw the cutest thing right now. You know when you accidentally see someone's <laughs> phone when they don't intend for you to see what's on their phone? Yeah, yeah. I Gilbert was laughing at Bobby reading his dates and I look over to my left and there's a video of two little hedgehogs uh, just like staring up at the screen. What the <laughs> like, fuck are you doing? Right? You like animals? They're just hamsters. I got Cindy two hamsters. <laughs> oh, no, really? Oh, yeah. they look like hedgehogs <laughs> where I was at. Oh, How cute. They're so <gasps> cute. Dude. Yeah. How big do they get these guys? That's awesome. They say that small. Can I ask you another question about hedgehogs? Yeah. <laughs> those are hamsters, babe. Hedgehogs are the spike. Whatever. I don't know the difference. Whatever they are. Yeah. Um, those are like bourgeois rats. That's all that really is. Well, I, uh, rats are fancy themselves. Oh, they are. Have they, you not I seen think they're Dumbo? called fancy rats, actually, in the store. Wait, hamsters no, are? F- rats are called fancy rats. I really like the Dumbo eared rats. Have you seen those? Mm-hmm. Oh, those are Anyway, cute. what were you looking at that for? It was a. Uh, <laughs> Just looking at hamster. I think that we should go through our last, our couple last searches in the internet. We gotta stop to the top. Babe, I'm starting babe. from the top. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, you're not. The no, ghost. Why? 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 No, so why? Because that's so good. It's and people funny. already, people already heard it. And let, they know see, it's let, let me just see if I could start from the beginning and see if I can get close to what I already said. No, actually, babe, that is. Let's try. Let's try. It's gonna be funny. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So anyway, welcome to another episode. Yep. Right, and here's the deal. You know, I have new rules. 
if you're a, I, it's not gonna work. You know that this. You is already like, missed the first part. I, just, I know that is one of the biggest anxiety triggers for me. I, I cannot watch um, Groundhog Day. I cannot watch Russian Doll. Source code. I cannot th- watch things that start over and over and over again. Why? It causes me to break down mentally. It's like a there's a like Star Trek. A, there's a Star Trek Next Generation that has that. Yeah. One episode. I need you to see it. <laughs> well, just that it's, it really good. It, it's really good. He loves to watch me suffer. Please don't let that. Oh, make, oh don't yeah, you ever because stop um, I I swear to fucking God that my leg still <laughs> fucking hurts. What ha- you mentioned this last night? So, what happened six days ago? I you know I like to wrestle. Okay, we know all the. And I was wrestling that. around with Kalila, <laughs> and she got an angle on me, and she did one of her Muay Thai wasn't heel. Um, hammered down. Those are fucking hard. No, thing. it was a very standard, classic American dead leg. It wasn't no Muay Thai. No, it hurts. It, it, and thing. it hit me right where all the nerves project into this one, you know what I mean, area. Thigh. Also, what did you do that, that warranted that Nothing. kind of aggression? Nothing. Do you know what he did? What I, I had been on the phone with Spectrum and I hate... Oh, yeah. I hate... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate calling any type of like phone company. She'd been on for like thirty minutes 30 on Spectrum, minutes at this right point. on live. Okay, so I put it on speaker. Crazy. I put it on speaker and I put crazy. it right next to me because I'm like, look, I'm not going to put it to my phone like this for thirty minutes, and that's because we need Wi-Fi and all that stuff in the mm. new house. But he doesn't. That's not part of his agenda apparently because. <laughs> For the next for ten minutes, he threatens that he's going to hang up, and I was like, "Don't you fucking hang up! I'm already twenty minutes invested." Yeah. And more and more, he started creeping over to me, creeping. I was like, "I will fucking hurt you! I will hurt you really bad." Were you kind of you, you kind of laughing, or were you? Dead? No, I told him I was like, "I've been waiting this fucking long. I'm invested," and it he didn't you know take heed, so he rushed me, wrestled me, and hung up the phone. And so I had to retaliate. I was so Nobody furious. Tells, <laughs> wow. Nobody tells the slept king what to do. Not even. Right? My gut says do it, I do it. <laughs> and that's a new rule. Mm-hmm. Right? Don't fuck around. Mm-mm. You know, if Papa gonna say something, Papa gonna do it. But then he then he threatened to cancel all his Ontario shows, improv shows, because he said he couldn't walk. That's too. And he told his manager, he called his manager to complain what? about his leg. Yeah, yes. And he says, I don't think I can walk on stage. I did, I did. And he says, it's Kalila's fault. It's Kalila's fault. What did Abby say? Um, she said, I'm not doing that. There's no way I'm doing that. Yeah. I go, you have to, I can't move. You want me to not go up on stage? <laughs> you know, and um, oh, man. I know. But the thing is, is that um, well, I did something else like that too. Oh yeah, so I had to do press for Ontario. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, so I could it's it's one radio station, which is a good one. Mm-hmm. What's that called? Oh, With Heidi, Heidi Hamilton. And Frank? Yeah, it's a great morning news show. I've done it before, but it's like five in the morning. I'm like, I have to go to Culver City, and then go straight from Culver City to Ontario mm-hmm. to do shows. And they got me a hotel room so I could sleep all during the day. So at like five in the morning, I called Abby. Abby was in New York, my manager, and I go, I can't do it. There's no way I can do it. She, they're they're ready for you. You know, we said you would. You said you would do it, and I made a deal. I go. I'll go on the next three auditions, no matter what it is. I'll go in physically. Fuck. If you get me out of this, so she got me out. Damn. So sometimes when you talk to people, you have to give them. You know, you have to negotiate. Mm-hmm. You have to tell them deals, mm-hmm. and I'm a deal maker, um, like and, Trump. And imagine trying to make deals with a deal maker. So what I have to do is I have to play the game. So if I want him... Like last deal. What, for instance, last, what's if, the last I, deal? if I desperately want him to see a doctor, yeah, I will I will make sure that there's an audition that day that he, he wants to get out of and he so that he'll be like, okay, rough, fine, I'd rather go to the doctor. Yes. Uh, but I will fabricate an audition so that yeah. he <laughs> thinks because that going to emails. the doctor yeah, is a yeah, good yeah. deal. Yeah. Do you know this that she's fabricating? Yeah. No, she doesn't. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. Here's the thing, though, dude. No, he does. Oh, because I still, because <laughs> I still believe, right, mm. that um, auditions. And I, I went on how many? I went on some film ones this year. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tested for that Regency one. I went in there and I did that one, other one. I hope you read for that one. Yeah. DC one. Yeah, I've sent someone uh, some. It's just like, yeah, it's just not. I'm not getting any close. I'm not getting close. 
And, um, you know, it disturbs me because, um, you know, people say all the time, it's your time to me. And I go, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. And they go, you know, because of crazy rich Asians and all these other things, like being Asian is hot right now. But pop, no one calling Papa, right? And then when I talk to other ones, like, the other ones like Jimmy O Yang or Alec. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got 15 movies coming out. <laughs> Jesus. Right? Yeah, we got like every, you know what I mean? We got everything. Yeah. Right? And then you know, I I look at someone like Joe Coy and I and Margaret Cho as too. Yeah. And I have to reiterate and stress how important it was for someone like Margaret to hit the scene when she hit it. Mhm. You know, um when I started, not only were there no auditions for Asians, we couldn't even get stage time, right? In the 90s, mm -hmm. like, there wasn't a lot. And the ones that, here's the thing, Asian comics, before I started, a lot of them got up on stage only because of the fact that they had an accent. Mm. You know what I mean? Or they, you know, it wasn't necessarily they wrote jokes to get laughs. People would just laugh at them. You know, like like the old Johnny Yoon thing I said when he yeah. his applause break when he said "hot all," yeah. yeah, right. <clears throat> so it was much harder. I'm not blowing steam up my ass. I'm just I just this is the reality of it was fucking difficult. I don't think anyone yeah. would argue with the fact that. But that's the thing. It's like I know, but the pioneers. thing is, is that like, but now that it's easy, it's hard for me. Hey, sorry to interrupt, guys, but we have an amazing <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> The rich wallet, future in your pocket all day long. You guys, the only wallet that I use, yeah, and I will forever use, is this. It's called the Ridge Wallet. Amazing, right? Mine's a little wore down because I've been I've I've been using it ever since I got it, and it really is the best thing. And you know what? When I go on the road and I run into other sleepers and they pull their Ridge wallet, it's a rite of passage, right? It's a ticket to the good times. You know, and if you want a ticket to the good times, man, this is the way to go, right? Look at her crazy '80s hair right now. She looks like a fucking. She looks like a what do you call a sorcerer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? <laughs> no, I was it's, kidding. It's a, are you out of your fucking mind? No, you're it's not. A ticket to the, really, yeah. It's a ticket you're to a the good time. You're a sorcerer from some fucking B movie that's yeah. never made. You tricked me. I tricked you, right? <laughs> but I bet she has a Ridge wallet. Yeah, you have a Ridge wallet. What? Show me your Ridge, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so guys, get a ticket to the really? <laughs> get a ticket to the good times like Kalila's hair. Get 10% yeah. off today yeah. with free worldwide shipping by going to ridge.com slash slept. Slept. That's ridge.com slash slept. Tiger. Use the code slept. <laughs> Deli. S L E P T. Deli Belly Deli. Here is another sponsor. Voodoo, 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 voodoo. Voodoo is a leading streaming service that brings the best movies and TV to your favorite devices at a value that fits every budget. Voodoo has content on there that you can't get on Netflix, probably mm -hmm. like old, really fucked up sorcerer fucking. The Kim's of comedy. Or sorcerer. Sorcerer, yeah. you know, or movies Mystic from Pizza, the early eighties. Julia yeah. Roberts. Isn't that ironic that Voodoo actually has free eighties classics? Right, like Mystic Pizza, like Stand by Julia Me, Roberts. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, yeah. Terminator, Terminator, Kalila's hair, I love Linda Your Hamilton's arm, stupid hair. Um, it really is. You know, there's stuff on here that you can't get, like the Kims of Comedy. Yep. Or the Disney movies. Or the Disney movies. Um, it really is. Um, it is. The the Voodoo streaming site is the only one I watch aside from the other ones. <laughs> but it's one where you can go to get everything. Yeah, yeah. They have free yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voodoo, and, yes, because Voodoo is a streaming service where you can watch all your fa on your favorite devices, including smart TV, Roku, Chromecast, iPhone, Apple TV, and Android phone or web. Stream over ten thousand titles for free, or choose from over hundred fifty thousand titles to rent or buy in up to four K quality. George, from the latest Hollywood blockbusters to independent cinema, free movies are refreshed monthly, so there's always something new to discover and watch. Not a subscription service, no monthly fees. Watch free movies and TV and pay. <laughs> Only for what you want to rent or purchase. Voodoo. Head over to voodoo.com slash tigerbelly to sign up and start watching instantly. That's V-U-D-U dot com slash tigerbelly. Enjoy the rest Voodoo. of the I see, yeah. I see what you're, you're saying. saying. So now <sighs> that it's easy for the younger Asian generation, it's harder for the pioneers. Yeah, but it's like I, I don't look at myself as older. I don't either. 
I, no, I honestly don't. I look in the mirror and I go, yeah, there we go. What's up? Keep that going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? And I, I do like, sometimes I do double winks in the fucking can- uh, window. To yourself? Yeah, like that. And the image will do it back because it's a mirror. <laughs> right? That's what it does. Right? So I go like that. At the same time, the mirror image will do it. Yeah. And that's me. Like, I'm double sexy right there, man. Yeah. You know? But I feel young. I feel relevant. Mm-hmm. Um, also, when I go to these like China nights. Who do you see there? What are China nights? Well, we're Asian, you know, because, you know, the, um, like the Laugh Factory has on Friday nights, they have Laugh Out Loud or China nights. China. Well, I don't know what it's called, but it's, they always have diversity. You know how like Asian porn has the most racist titles? Yeah. It's, they, they, you know, I know that the world has grown to be very sensitive about slurs and what would to call, but no one gave the memo to the porn industry. Oh no! Because it's like if you go and see Asian porn, mm-hmm. it's like gook fantasy fuck holes number six, <laughs> right? Ching chong, you know, yellow pussy. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, that's a Bangkok stick nine cocks. That's true. Oh, <laughs> oh I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's the next special. Yeah, or something. <laughs> it's always like some I sort you were of. You're gonna say that was my nickname. <laughs> yeah. That was my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> that, you you, you <laughs> missed your opportunity. Missed opportunity. Have you read those things? Those like the, those like they're, Asian. They're aggressive, right? And then sometimes like when you they're they aggressive. say you know. Let me look some up. Yeah, um, Singapore slant eyed, you know, school pussy. <laughs> but then when you, they do an interview in the video, they're like girls that grew up in Riverside. <laughs> like hi, um, my name is Sammy. Right, you're like that's not no fucking gook gook from Slant Eye from Singapore. <laughs> this is false advertising. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's one the yeah. top twenty five best selling Asian porn movies of all time. Let's go. Shout out to Asa Kira, Insatiable number cool. one. Asa. Okay. Uh, walk on the wild side. Okay. All right. Let's. Okay. All right. Stop. All right. Stop. 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 Stop there. Let's start. Let's address that. Okay. Thoughts, Captain. My thoughts are this. All right. <laughs> If you right were in you shoot you wrote a movie called Walk on the Wild Side, <laughs> all right, and you're in a you're at Fox and you're pitching it to whatever their film oh, person is, right? Yeah, they'll walk you right out of the room, friend. They'll walk you out. Yeah, they'll walk you. They'll uh, walk W-O-K, you. walk you right out of the room, man. <laughs> Give me another one. Uh, this, this is pretty easy. Caucasian. That's easy. Go ahead. That's, That's not easy. that offensive. Uh, me so horny. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm saying. It's mm-hmm. like that's fucking bullshit. Persuasion one. Okay, that's the first. Yeah, what's the most racist one that you when you read? Cause yeah, I can't. Honestly, I think it was a walk on the wild. Side. It is because everything else is like J jugs. Oh, Japanese jugs. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, J jugs. Forty little Asians. <laughs> little Asians. Forty little Asians. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> what is that even? Like, there, it's yeah. What's that? What's that thing? How do you say it when you? When it's redundant, what's there's a term for that? Clyla, uh, uh, Webster. Um, redundant. Redundant's the word I think. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the word when you repeat something? I was right. Why did you think? Because I looked over at my periphery. That was a good thinking. trick. Because you made us all go. Thank Wait, you. What is it? That's a trick. Me, uh, me, love you, long time. Yeah, it's like all those ones. Yeah. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't, you know. Name a rest Chinese restaurant called Me Love You Long Time. I don't think. Mm. Could you? No, I. But I think that the fall places um, they get away with in it. the early um, 2000s. They try to get creative, like the you know the you, you like what it. like what like the fall fa king like uh, what the fall fa king. I saw right. a Thai place called Titanic. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's clever. Yeah. That's clever. If shit. you had a restaurant, what would you name it? It had to be a pun. <laughs> well, I mean, the honest truth would be um, I like restaurants where there's no sign. Me too. Like, I like restaurants where y- you don't even know it's a restaurant, mm. right? So if I were going to do a restaurant, there would be no sign, probably a symbol, mm-hmm. some sort of like like a small symbol, you know, maybe an Asian symbol oh, yeah. or something. And then um, it would just be reservation only. Okay, and it would be so pure. I think you'd really enjoy my restaurant. I would get like mashed potato, pop popsicles. Oh, popsicles! Yeah, How I've can... always wanted a popsicle that tasted like Thanksgiving food. I'm down with that. All right, erase all that. This is dumb. 
No, I'm making it louder. <laughs> Let's start from the top. No, it's too it's too <laughs> redundant. We're starting from it's the top. Too I'm going to have again. a full blown panic attack. If, if I do the dates started. again, if you do that again, Bobby, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Like it's- <laughs> But I think Something about But like, it's rules of three It is Oh my god I have, I'm like, I, have I really have OCD It's rules of three Kalilo you can I have OCD babe touch, You want to touch my Touch my hand I know I, That's always like that though That's not No 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 it's, I'm especially sweaty Anyway guys I have some dates coming in <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio <laughs> Oh, black dicks and Asian chicks number three. All right, uh, stop reading so, those things. <laughs> stop. Uh, right, get a different window going. Already, okay. I'm already dissociating. I'm already. Are you really? Like, I'm not doing it again, baby. I'm going into a fugue state. I'm not doing it again. Don't I'm fugue gonna, it. Don't I'm fugue gonna out. I'm going to exit my body. Please right don't. Now. Please out. don't. Don't fugue out. Um. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. You know. <laughs> I want to talk about. Um, <laughs> The episode so of Black Mirror. I'm we so watched. I know, but I'm so lost. Oh, wait. Let's start over. No, the Black Mirror. Episode. Start that. Let's. Let, I don't want to say I'm lost. Cut. Cut that little chunk out. Yeah. Mark right. it. Cool. Even cut that part out about what I said before that. The popsicle. About mashed potato popsicles. <laughs> no, in my own that's going to be a clip. People are going to clip that. Yeah. Mashed potato popsicles. I've always wanted Thanksgiving and as a popsicle. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't even know. I don't even mean what I said. I, it's a. It's going to be a meme. Trust me. This is viral. It's, All right. Yeah. <laughs> Just as long as it's viral. <laughs> do it um so the other day we watched um the first episode of black mirror called striking vipers yep yeah you know what it was one of those things where um i grew up during those platform games you know where they had like street fighter and those kind of games yeah. you go to the arcade Streets of rage yeah i um grew up with that shit watching that black mirror was so amazing to me because the switch in there was i didn't see it coming nope did you did not see that i don't want to give any spoilers but um i mean it's been out for it's a been month. out for i know but still but you know it's basically you know about two guys or friends mm-hmm. black guys best yeah. friends best friends and then um you know it's kind of in the future where um they have these retro games coming out but then you can put these little um, the VR stuff. VR, like they're not VRs. They're though. not VR. These are future yeah. VRs. Temple. Where they're VR. like two temple lights. Yeah. They stick on their thing and then they they get in. They go into this world like the Matrix. Yeah. So it's these two black guys fighting this retro game that's kind of like Street Fighter, mm-hmm. and they're fighting and it looks great. It looks so yeah. But good. in the game, they're playing the actual characters. So one of them is you, a female. You are the yeah. avatar. Like Chun yeah, She looks like Chun Li. Right? Chun Li, right? And the other guy is like looks Ryu. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. And this, they're fighting, and at the end of the fight, they start making out. Caught me off guard. Right? It didn't catch me off guard. I was like, something's going to happen. They're going to fuck. I know it. Right. Fuck. Yeah. So, um, and I don't know. It's a little confusing to me because are they gay? They're no, not, which we you discovered. you saying that. So, so they're not. So what I'm saying is that if they're not gay, and one of us is a guy, like one of us is an avatar that's a man... And the other avatar is a woman. Mm-hmm. How is he going to be gay when he is essentially um, in in that world? He is a man fucking a woman. Okay, because I'll tell you, oh, wait, there's a man, but the reverse. One of them is a girl fucking a man, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that guy must be gay. No. no remember they kissed. In real yeah, life, and they're at the like, end, there's like, let's kiss and see if we even." That have was between though. They fucked before that. They hooked up before that. What? Their first makeout was during the game. Yes. No, but here's what I think. Just because I am fucking as a different character, even though I feel all the sensations, <laughs> it's just like, for me, when I'm in a dream state, if uh, I guess what I compare George... it to, <sighs> if I'm in a dream state and I'm fucking someone else like my old swim coach and I'm like oh fuck this is horrible this is horrible doesn't mean I'm actually attracted to my swim coach it just means that I'm in a different dimension and that happened in that dimension but in my real life I don't feel that way but here's the argument they he remember the guy came back was like I fucked a polar bear I fucked all these things it's not the same without you right well, so no, that's where it's like hmm. I think that the, his friend has a certain draw and feelings towards him but I don't think the other guy was gay if George and I were in the same situation Right, we're we put the thing on. Who's the girl? Who's the guy? Let's say I'm the girl, okay, and he's the guy. Yeah, right. And now we're fighting, and the girl is really hot. I'm really hot, and he go, and he starts making out with me. I'm not gonna want to make out with him. Oh, George. But if he was a women, 
woman also avatar, I might. And that personality, I know it's George. Yeah, so you already don't like it. <laughs> but I would still do it because it's a girl. If it, he was playing a guy yeah. in the avatar, I wouldn't do it. I think that you would do it with anyone. We talked about this. We've argued about this. I think that it's... What are you talking about? Because I just compare it to my dream state, where in my dream state, I fuck anything. I know, but I don't. I have no control over my dream state. That's my point. In a video game situation, I have choices. Mm. In a dream, I don't have any choice. I'm in it. I just think I've that been kangaroos and stuff I, in my dreams. I know. What? I, th- I, I was a kangaroo once. You lived a whole life? No, but I was in a dream. I was a kangaroo. I was hopping up and down, so and I like I didn't, a, couldn't change it. I have a question for you. What? So of all the friends that you currently have, Delia, Santino, Eric Griffin, your brother, um, all of these guys, of if you were the, the fighting character, if you were Ryu... And they were the women of all of those people controlling that female character. Which one would you be most likely to fuck, personality wise? Because if you know, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good setup. Did you put Santino in there? I put. Santino you put Santino in, yeah. in there. Can I throw in some guys that we know but that are on your list? Yeah. So, Probably Brendan Schaub. As a Brendan Schaub as a woman, you'd fuck. Yeah. All right. Because like power, I'll tell you why. Power play. That's a power play. It's a power. power play because he is bigger in real life. And and if I, let's say I don't desire Brendan at all in any kind of way, no. but um, he would be somebody that he intimidates me physically. Mm-hmm. So I would do it just to, so that I can show some sort of dominance. And on top of that, he would feel it too because remember the guy was like, he was having female <laughs> orgasms in a man's body? Yeah. So Brendan Schaub would be having female orgasms. But if his ears are the same ears, I can't do it. The cauliflower? Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> no, he would be the female. Okay, good. Yeah, then I would do it. Brendan Schaub. Motorboat. Here's somebody that I wouldn't do no matter who was Eric Griffin. <laughs> I feel like, and I'm going to say something that is not racist. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> All right, and I think Did that everyone guys, hear that? <laughs> but for the same reason, if I'm an avatar yeah. and he's a female avatar and we're in a game, I could probably still f- smell Stop. F- food. Okay. The other day we got in a fight. Uh-oh. A big fight. About? With my brother. About Uh-oh. my brother. Okay. Oh, no. And he's like, because he, my brother, uh, I want to get into sensitive things. I don't think but you should. I'm not going to. Okay. But I'm just saying that we got in a fight. Yeah. And but we were at the comedy store and we didn't want people to hear us fighting because I remember Fahim Anwar walked up to us while we were fighting like we were oh in serious fight a red zone fight oh not joking no mm. and I and he, so we were getting closer and closer and his breath smelled um <laughs> deep I'll just say that okay and I it was a smell that I don't ever want to smell again maybe he just had a meal yeah. And didn't think he was getting gonna get into a face to face fight with you. Sometimes that happens to me. Where like someone gets in my face and I'm like, Oh my god, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. But I now I'm committed. Now I have they have to know what my breath is like. Yeah. I forgive that. But yeah, he would not be somebody I would I don't find him sexual. Just... But Brendan Schaub you would. I feel like Brendan Schaub would be game too. Yeah, because when Brendan did Rogan after my us He talked about you. He talked about me. He likes talking Did your about dick you. Get hard. <laughs> no, it didn't talk. It didn't get hard, but um, and also I, I want to defend myself when it comes to Joe because I heard a little bit what Joe said. You saw the post that I'm afraid to go on it in some some weird. Said he, you run away. I run away. I don't run away. Here's the deal: is if Joe called me, it says, "What are you doing Thursday?" Mm-hmm. I go, "I don't nothing." Well, can you do the podcast at two? Yes, but I've never called anybody about being on any podcast. You know, I did Mar- uh, Mark Marin's a long time ago the, at WTF. Before yeah. was that before Tiger Belly, right? Yes, wait. Yeah. Oh, and he, wait. I did, I went to Eagle Walk because he invited me, and I mm-hmm. went to his house and I did it. You know, I've done. That's how every all of them work. Since he's the Johnny Carson of all of the world now, yeah, mm-hmm. he's the king. I don't really feel like I should call the king. You know, I want the king to call me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, Same. he really is. People go. Joe Rogan is does more for you than being on Fallon. Mm, I believe which that. is one hundred percent true. 100%, I believe that yeah. Joe Rogan is the he is the um, Johnny Carson of our generation mm-hmm. because once you do it, 
you'll automatically get a fan base. Yeah. Those people are ravenous. And a lot of those fans are our fans as well. Mm-hmm. Crossover. Crossover. Um, so I would love to do Joe's. Um, and tr- truth to be known, it's not going to be... Because, um, you know, when people say, you know, we don't like um, Slep King because he tries to be alpha male, you know, uh, with you guys. Mm-hmm. Right? But the thing is, is and I, I try. I try to be alpha male. I try to dominate. But that's how you know you're not an alpha. The feeling, the need to dominate is a very beta thing. I know. Alpha's just... <laughs> I know. Just exists. I know, but I know, I know. But you don't have to say that out loud. Let's oh, we'll edit that. You, don't, you know, you uh, could you have know, just said, you know, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Thank and you. you don't know this about yourself. And you don't know this about me. I am so done with a certain type of man. You represent to me all that is good. You don't have a toxic masculinity about you. And I find that really attractive. I don't feel like you need to be this super straight edge, you know, um, no homo guy. I love that you've explored. I love that you've, you know, lived in, you know, the dark spaces of society. I love that you're a sick fuck. I don't want you to be this cookie Uh, cutter guy. But but, I don't want you to be alpha either. I love that you're my bitch. Okay. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I took it too far. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. Ooh. Just back up, Licks. No, Bobo. For was, no, you know, Bobo. You know, because you know, when you talk like that, I know it's not you. I know it's Licks. Licks. Yeah. Right? So, so Licks sometimes pops out, right? It's a joke. And she gets, and she gets aggressive, right? Yeah. She Yo, gets dog. Tough. She gets tough. Yo, dog, my bad. That was a joke. Yeah, Licks. I was being sincere. I, I, I know. He, I know. Thing, here's you know. the thing. <laughs> Licks. Licks, here's the deal. I know that you have street credibility. I know that you have urban tendencies, and I know that you so many. you grew up in the streets of Pasadena. And okay, it's let, tough, me, let me get this straight. Yeah, let me actually make this clear to you. Pasadena has legitimate gangs. I know you don't want to believe that. Well, you give me a list. But the Pasadena Denver lanes is a real thing. Also, the squiggly lanes are. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but that's a real gang. It's a, yeah, it's a dance group. Have you yeah. ever heard of the Latin Kings? The Latin yeah. Kings existed in Pasadena. Well, yeah, you know, the Marshmallow Puff Boys are there too. <laughs> Damn, those are dangerous. The, the, dangerous. Have you ever heard of the Marshmallow Puff Boys? Dude, tell me the last thing they did. What? What was the last thing they did? They threw did? Skittles at a school bus. Fuck me. Right? <laughs> yeah. In Pasadena? Yeah, right? How about uh, oh, Concrete you. Softies? The Concrete Softies? <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck, dude. I heard that like all throughout high school. It was, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. PDL blood. The, here's the deal. The Concrete Softies, right? <laughs> they don't. The Concrete Softies, they don't yell, fuck. They yell Frick. Oh, that's George that's Kimmel. That's George Kimmel. I know. Well, he's the leader of Watch that band. Watch out, guys. Yeah. Oh, that group. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I, don't, I don't believe because I don't believe in it. I haven't seen it. Now, if you're hard and you're from, because you know who was hard? That guy that was at my show in Ontario. And I know. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm really upset that Lix wasn't there. What would Lix would have? What would Lix do? Lix would have popped out her hoop earrings. No, you wouldn't. Have. Put would some you, Vaseline on the if you, big points on my face. If you were in the green room and he was running up towards Sandy, would you? No, have like, I, I don't. I, I wouldn't jump blindly like that. But if it was Bobby, I'm telling you right now, if it was Bobby, ask him now how it is. Even when people like um, approach him and I feel like uncomfortable about it, I'll put my body in between. I believe Bobby it, yeah. and somebody else do you easily. Th- do you think that makes me a coward? I just thought this. During the fight, when all that commotion was going on, I could have went there and calmed it down, I think. No, I don't think so. I think that what you did, and uh, because they were, that's what the security is there for. You're You're the headliner. You're also a celebrity, so that some shit would go down. Yeah, I think it would just um, maybe stir it up even more. Like they'll want to punch Bobby Lee. But I want to say that I am the Kevin to your Whitney. I am the Kevin Costner to your Whitney Houston, and I will always, Uh, always protect you. Okay, thank you, bodyguard. Licks. (laughs) Licks. <laughs> Licks. So, um, you don't think that if I, like, because I don't know, I feel like if I went up there and I said, hey, dude, dude, and he saw it was me, that he would calm down. Because he didn't buy a ticket randomly. He knows that I'm the headliner, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not a celebrity, guys. I don't I, know why you say that. I think, I think that you probably would have um, not been able to hold your tongue. You would have been, you would have said something to, like make him angry. You would probably be like, sit the fuck down. Yeah, and it wouldn't have calmed him And down. then he'd be all weird. I still want to do this on my shows, is have, um, like have some, I just go, I want, I've always wanted to have a girl in the audience and say it was my daughter. 
right? Wait, like what? going to the audience and going, oh, oh my have... daughter's here. Yes, we tried to do Right, that right. Before. So my daughter, or that thing, Expl- my daughter's there and the place would go crazy. I don't think they could do it now because most of the audience now is Tiger Belly fans. Yeah. But what I wanted to do one time was go, hey, my daughter's here and people clap and then stand up, have her stand up and then just make out with her <laughs> Don't you think how funny would that be? So funny. If I on tape. think you should yeah. try that. At I Mo- can't because at Montreal, now, at Montreal. Maybe because when I go on stage and I go, you know, <laughs> Tiger Belly fans, it's 90%. What about now. if you say niece? Oh, my niece from, you know. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Kal- Kalila's yeah. niece because then people know the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's my niece. Juliana, yeah, yeah, come here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we would have to find an actor. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Not yeah. my actual niece. Hey guys, uh, sorry to interrupt, but we have another amazing Manscaped. Story. What? Manscaped. Okay. You guys, Manscaped is a fucking dope ass product. Dope. Okay. They have the um the the lawnmower. Lawnmower 2.0. 2.0 that I use to shave my facial hair, and? but mostly my fucking <laughs> hair where the um the meat sun is. Don't shine. You know uh, the meat the meat area. The meat core, right? I have a meat core down here where my pee pee is, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of hair, and I use Manscaped's Lawnmower 2.0 to shave it. I use all their products for my body because it feels good, it smells great, and um, it's a really cool startup, man. Yeah. It really is. Go on, tell me. Guys, get 20% off and free shipping and a free, free travel bag with the code BROLY at Manscaped. No, no, I use their travel bag. The last time I went on the road, yeah. it was fucking dope as fuck. Oh, you took it with you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So go tell them more. Guys, use the code belly at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping in a free travel bag that Bob uses at manscaped.com and use the code belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. You know what I mean? All these kids, you know, here's, that's another thing about, I don't know. About what? <laughs> it's like I've been exposed to a lot of children in the last year. Yeah. You know, kids from the ages of seven on to teenage or even young in their late 20s, whatever. Splitting up together. And I love kids. Yeah, being around kids and all that stuff. And um, I just don't know how there are people out there that harm them. I know. Oh, yeah. You know? I don't get it. it. It really is so startling to me. I mean... If I was never exposed to children, I don't know. I never really thought about it. But by being around children and you go, even teenage girls that other teenage boys might think is attractive, I don't see anything. They're babies. They're kids. They, you know, they, you know, hey, can I go get a lollipop? Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But or I'll even give the you lollipop way, like, money. Even the way my <laughs> niece still asks if she can have the cookies in the cupboard. Yeah. Atikalai, can I open the box yeah. of cookies? I'm like, oh, yeah. she's a baby. Yeah. She's a baby. But there's some dudes out there that would say, no, but you can have my dick. Oh, my God. That exists. Right, that, that exists. exists out there. Yeah. And they're like, I don't want dick. I want cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Good impression. <laughs> yeah. I don't want dick. I want a cookie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're both, you know, desserts, I guess, in certain, certain areas. In, in, in different the regions. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, um, that's that. Yeah. And uh, push pause. Turn it on. Okay. And we are back, okay, everyone. I, you know, we're not cutting out the Eric Griffin and the breath thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you why. Did Licks try to defend the Because I, I, I don't know. We just paused for a second, right? Because um, Food. Because Kalila didn't... We're eating. And also, Kalila didn't want... Um, she wanted to take out the Eric Griffin part where I said his breath stinks. And I am not going to cut that out. If someone falsely claimed yeah. that I had bad breath, which I don't. You yeah. don't. You don't. Because I brush a lot. And uh-huh. I've smelled... Eric's breath and it smells just fine. If someone falsely claimed I had bad breath for like <laughs> hundred th- like tons of people to hear, I'd be furious. Is that the one? Lie. Is that the one thing that would get you? His breath. It would. It would shatter me if someone said that on air that my breath was bad. Like I remember one time I was watching this VH1 show. I think I think it was like I Love New York, and then she <laughs> she was like, love "Is there like a little man we- inside your mouth like wearing shit shoes?" Oh, and that- I remember that was like the worst roast that I had ever heard, and it made me want to cry. I'm like, if someone said that about my breath, mm. I would be shattered. You've never had bad breath because I and I you have an oral every- fixation. Yeah, yeah, I, you I have never had. Has my breath surprisingly okay. 
surprisingly. <laughs> Jesus, that answer was so forced. It's, I think it's because it's all gums left back there. <laughs> yeah, so there you don't is. have like teeth no, that's not what it is. to get the food to get stuck in. Do you floss? Um, that's he he does. We both have morning breath, of course. That's natural. I, you know what I've been doing is flossing. I've never flossed before. Does it bleed? Yeah, but mm. I've been stealing her floss from the um the shower. The shower. Do you know? And I'll that? take a little bit. You know what I mean? And I've been flossing. It feels. I can't believe I've never flossed before. It's game changer, dude. Yeah, I mean, I've had like fried chicken stuck do between my teeth like, for you... three weeks before. <laughs> Wait, do you smell when you floss? Do you smell when you floss? I'll be honest, I do it. Oh, yeah. It's right here. It smells. Yeah. Oh, the back ones? Ugh. Like, I, like, you know, used to just, that's why I would get cavities between mm-hmm. teeth. Mm. Because I never floss, but it feels good to floss. I wish my parents taught me things. My parents never told me to floss. We never had floss growing up. Yeah, because I, they probably didn't learn it themselves. Like, my mom didn't yeah, floss Yeah, but it, that either. should be a thing when you come to America. <laughs> Right, and you're getting your green card or whatever. A, a packet, and go, yeah. Right, and go, this is important. This is what we do here. Mm, yeah, but can I just defend your parents for one hot second? How many teeth, sets of teeth in the Philippines am I fixing currently? A lot. Okay. What do you mean? Do you mean? I'm fixing all of my family's mouths in the Philippines. I'm my own um, charity in that way where I'm like, you know what? If there's one thing I'm going to do for my family back home is to <laughs> fix everyone's mouths. Because I don't like bad breath on people. So in order for me to have a proper relationship for everyone back home, I need everyone's mouths to be clean. <laughs> Man, you go all out. Yeah, I do. And I dump all my money into Jesus. like dental work, implants, anything you need. I got your mouth. It's so cheap out there. Like when I was in South Africa, I told you. I yeah, got, it's so I, cheap. So cheap. How much is it? Yeah. I remember in South Africa, it was not even that much. It was like a hundred bucks. For One like dental a implant fun? here is probably four or five thousand dollars. Over there to get a full cleaning, extractions, and everything. Do you know how much I paid? How much? Like a hundred bucks. I can't believe it. It's incredible. It's incredible. And they do a good job. Yeah, it's like you know when you get pills in Tijuana, you can't tell the difference. Yeah, that's why it's called. What is it called? Um, medical vacation. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. medical holidays. Because people go down there for Vicodin and all the all kinds of all not Vicodin. Um, even like stuff like um. Viagra or um, cheaper yeah. hair, like um, what's a hair one that they take? Propecia. I'll say for him. Yeah, but they also do all the cosmetic surgeries there too. Yeah, I have friends who get dental work done in Mexico. Yeah, a friend of ours. Who? I won't say, but who? his business. Who, who is it? Our realtor. Michael. Yeah, I remember he was like, my tooth. My tooth hurts. I just came back from Tijuana. <laughs> I just what, got- my, yeah. Oh, Michael. Yeah. Michael. No, Michael. Oh. But listen, Michael sold us our house, right? Yeah. Did he make money off of that? Yeah, of course. Then get it's... fucking regular for dentist. <laughs> no, but... Hey, Michael, go to a dentist. Yeah, Beverly I mean, Hills. you made thousands and thousands of but dollars that's... on the deal. Dentists are the richest over in, a, in a, over here, comp- even more than doctors because, well, they're doctors. But I'm just saying because that's how much cosmetic dentistry costs. It's so expensive. If you sell a house like Michael did, how much do you get? I think like is it 3 to 6%. Yeah, it's, it's just in the small. But then he works for- um, Wait, wait 3 to 6, 3, 6% of the whole, what the house cost? Yeah, it depends. Shared with the firm Yeah, but maybe? he has to give, I think, What's like uh, I got to look that up. I'm serious. <laughs> I have to look that up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you can confront Michael? No, no. He no, was I great. Never He's a sweetie. Him. We I like love him. Lo- I love that guy. Yeah, a little too much almost. He's a handsome fellow. I mean, not in that way, Gil. Jeez. No, but he's a handsome fellow. So I have to do this David Spade pilot tomorrow for Comedy Central, and it's like, it's a panel show. I hate panel shows more than any other kind of show. What was the last panel show you did? Chelsea. And oh. and Chelsea's were so hard. I mean, there were some episodes. That was hard? Dude, there were some episodes where looks so I would cry. He would, we would scramble me and Nick Youssef, because Bobby was already just over it after his like 600th appearance. I didn't know you were dating so me, during no, Chelsea. I was, yeah, I was yeah, dating she was him. there. And so me and Nick Youssef would just sit here an hour before he would have to go um, to the studio. And we would just try and like write jokes. Remember that? Yeah. And uh, then, yeah, I remember one time, what's Gerard Carmichael? Uh-huh. This is how dumb I am. So Gerard Car- Carmichael had his Ravi Nandando's guys were doing his show mm-hmm. the Jar, 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 Gerard Carmichael show mm-hmm. and he was also I think an HBO special I think he got to Montreal too but I didn't know any of this stuff 
So in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to ask that black guy to help me write because I don't know who he, I, I I heard he hangs out with all the other funny guys. Mm-hmm. Right. And I heard he was a good writer after the HBO special. No, this is like okay. he's about to do it or whatever. Okay. Mm. But, you know, he couldn't say no to me. <laughs> yes. Right. So I ended up going to the, like a coffee bean with him for hours and I could tell that he was like, I was going, what about this thing? You know what I mean? I could tell that he was like, oh, like he's over be it. here right now. You know what I mean? But what a good kid for doing that. Shout out to you, Gerard. I love you, Gerard. We'd love Gerard Carmichael oh, too yeah. here on the on the podcast. He just, I'll take um, a text His him. new show, Rami. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen it? No. It's really good. What's Rami? Remember we got invited to the screening of Is that it? the Hulu one? Why did yeah, we go? it's about. I know that kid. Yeah, yeah. He's a comic Is from it? New York too. Yeah. Um, we didn't go because you were out of town. Oh. Uh, but it's, uh, it's well, a really good just show. Just say we went. We loved it. Rami's great. Um, do you have an unhelpful? We or do. No? Unhelpful advice with Bobby. And you know, why, don't we, why don't we try a different voice now from now on? Let, let's, let's do something Give me a little new. It's 200. Uh, we're in a new era here. What, do, what kind do you want? I'll try. Let's try to do a southern one, like a real rednecky one. It's going to be a deep voice. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> let's try it. Well... <laughs> Oh, helpful vice with Bobby and Kalila. That's the new one. For I don't want to do that every week. I, yo, I don't want to do that yeah. every week. Can I go back? <laughs> no. Yep. no, no, no. It's so Seal offensive. All right, I, I, okay, let's stone. do three options. That's offensive to half the oh, nation. Okay, three options, right? And we're going to pick between the three. So I like that one. Yeah. The next one, try a, 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 an Asian one, maybe. Uh, I don't <laughs> Come on. Or right, then forget Asian that. How about Hispanic? Asian. Go Hispanic on it, then. Like a <laughs> yeah, go Hispanic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> Unhelpful <laughs> advice. <laughs> what you call it? It's bad. It's yeah, bad. It's horrible. Kind of like, it's why are you making me do bad. all these on camera? Yes, that's yes. real you bad. You just say licks. It's it licks, it licks. bro. Licks. Unhelpful advice, licks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's bad. not good. I'm going to lose so many right. shows from this. All right, try, <laughs> try another one. Give me a third one. How about nerd? Maybe a nerdy one? Or... Yeah, a nerdy one. Oh, uh, a helpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. I love that's no, the one. Yes, yes. Do we have that? Let's try this. What about this? But we make a new rule every it's four not weeks. As cool for the guests, and they're gonna think I'm an idiot. I don't care. <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to do that four in a row. Let's try that four in a row. You're never. You're gonna go to the deep until we go back. Like unless, time. unless um, you have about until tomorrow. Okay. To figure out a really good one that you're comfortable with. Yeah, and but you have I don't to run want deep right now. For, no deep. For a okay, while. so yeah. we mix it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like the challenge. In fact, you know what? You can. Uh, <laughs> How about this? Every week, it's got to be something different. Until it lands. Right. And we, I don't want to know what it is. Okay. You just throw it out there, and we don't even... Once you say it, we we won't... Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it to the guest. So he's going to be like, oh, what but a that's fucking a, idiot. That's what happens every week, <laughs> okay. right? So um, go ahead. That's a long one. No, start to do the unhelpful advice again. Oh, uh, a helpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. I don't want to do that one. It's terrible. It's so... All right, go ahead. It's cringy. Go ahead. Hi, I'm a 39-year-old guy from Vancouver, and I can use some advice. Almost three years ago, I married my beautiful wife, whom I've been in a relationship with over 10 years. We met while working on cruise ships in our mid-20s, and she is a European exotic creature that I hardly deserve. Now that, not that I'm a troll or anything, just a smaller guy trying to get by in a big man's world. Think younger David Spade with a lot less talent. Much like you guys, sometimes people don't get the two of us are a couple. No offense, Bobby. Stuff about him, about him. Fast forward to the end. A few months ago, after she went to bed, uh, I checked my email. Only it wasn't mine, it was hers. She had left it open. In our 10 plus years, I've never looked through her phone or email or anything. We both know each other's passwords, but we still never felt the need. What I saw that night was that she had been having an affair behind my back for years with someone in her home country whom she never broke it off with. All those trips she would see, uh, she'd go home to see her family, she would see him as well. Yeah. That night, I stayed up all night translating countless letters and messages. The most recent was only yesterday. Things I hope no husband ever has to see and read. Needless to say, I was crushed. I confronted her in the morning, and we've talked about it. To make a very long, detailed story short, it's been a tough three months, but we're trying to get past it. No. It, however, has affected me a lot. I can't talk about it to anyone in order to protect my decision to stay with her. No, I'm no. fluctuating between furious conversations with her in my mind and trying to rationally think it through and trying not to fall into insecure self-deprecating depression. It's, uh, it takes up far too much of my mental and emotional energy, and I don't know how to deal with it. 
question is, our anniversary and her birthday are coming up in July. No. And they're only a few days apart. Should no. I get two separate gifts or combine it into one larger gift? <laughs> That's What's the, the right move here? <laughs> Love you guys in the show. I can't tell if that's a joke question because that's heartbreaking. <laughs> I was not expecting that question. That is so fucking funny. Is he being real? <laughs> well, let's well, assume. Let's assume the whole thing was real and that he. No, I think the thing is real, but he, the question is a joke to hide oh, the pain. Okay. Hide the pain. I get it. I get it. But also, should he combine the gifts? Listen. She spent how long, right? Who who knows how long she was like seeing this guy? He doesn't know. It's and he he would have never known if he hadn't read the email because mm-hmm. she's acting. Yeah, right. Lying, yeah. Lying, lying, yeah. Okay, she's dishonest. You have to leave. I I for me, I think I once agree. I see one of those, I don't care. I'm out. Because it's dishonest. I, 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 that's, that's that's it. Yes. I Any forgiveness? Myself, no forgiveness. That's tough to forgive too. I put myself in a in a position of having been cheated on before. Have you been cheated on before? No. Okay, that you've been lucky. <laughs> you, you're lucky you've never had to feel the pain of loving someone so deeply and feeling very betrayed by that person you love so deeply. I've been there. And I found out a very tricky way because my vagina started um, not feeling good. Oh. And I, I'm one of those that's just very sensitive to like new flora. And I had um, I had noticed that I wasn't feeling good down there. And my partner had just come back from being on the road because he was a tattoo artist. And he was like, you know, he would go on the road and tattoo certain people or whatever. And I became suspicious. And when I asked him, I was like, I know my body. This shit just doesn't happen on its own. And I was like, I'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow. I can go to the doctor tomorrow and find out what it is. Or you can tell me right the fuck now. And that's how I found out that I got cheated on. And I was so fucking in love with him. He was much older than me too. And he always threw the 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 age card at me mm. oh you just don't understand life you're only 22 years old and he was already towards almost 40 and he would always throw that at my face like you're not mature you're not this you're 22 you don't know like what real relationships are like and this motherfucker had the gall to cheat on me multiple times i later found out it was multiple times but it's not easy to leave when you've had history and are you, you still feel with that him? invested you're not with him anymore. I right? got. I actually stayed despite the cheating. I left because he hit me. Oh, that guy. I stayed despite the cheating. I was willing to work. Okay. I just. I'm just not. You know. But the backhanded I, it. I was like, nope, no, 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 no. No, I'm see here. I'm just not made. I. I honestly like. I don't. I don't. I can leave. You know, once dishonesty is there, I just like fuck it. I, there's so many other people in the world. I don't. I have such little time. I, I'm, you know, mm-hmm. come on, guy. You know, that's, yeah, that's fucking dishonest bullshit. Uh, yeah, this one's a tough one because it sounds like the affair had been going on for a yeah, long yeah. I don't like it. Time. Married for 10 years, yeah. I have another um, interesting advice, um, unhelpful advice question. That was So combined gift, I think. Combined, combined gift, gift for combined. sure. All right, yeah. do, do the voice again. <laughs> do it again. Hi, guys. A helpful fight with Bobby and Kalila. Oh my god, it's so terrible. I love it. No, I hate it. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. I want to try to do one. Okay. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. There it is, falsetto. Everyone. An unhelpful advice with me and Kalila. <laughs> We're gonna save that one. Actually, that's good. Hey, this one was written directly to me, so I feel like I we we owe him okay. an answer. Go ahead. Hey there, Kalila. I'm a huge Tiger Belly fan and I love Bobby so much. I love you. I am from Tunisia and we still Ugh. hold on, hold on. I don't love Stop you. It. <laughs> let me I get to the let me get I love to Tunisia. The, all right, Food's right. not that good. It's this is important, the fact that he's from Tunisia. Okay, go. Cool. Okay. So I know that Bobby sucked dicks before. All right. Okay, God. <laughs> Who's this guy? God. Who's this uh, guy? This, I think Can you it's stick a to very, the strip, please? 
Thank you. This is an important question. You can improvise second pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could omit things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. This is in very relevant. This is, and how do I say it? This is very pertinent information. Okay. So I know that Bobby sucked dicks before. Oh, I am, just repeat it. Okay. I had to. If you keep interrupting me, I will Groundhog Day this. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so I know Bobby sucked dicks before. Uh, don't say it again, though. <laughs> if you say it again, we're not doing it. Okay, all right, fine. I am 22 years old, and I and I never had any sexual experiences with any girl, only making out. But I have had sex with men before, but I don't know, I don't have any kind of emotions towards them. I am really confused about my sexuality. I just want to know if Bobby thought he was gay at some time in his life, and what what made him stop having experiences with guys and how he okay, okay. he was straight. Hold on. This is an important part. <laughs> Living in a Muslim country, that's why Tunisia was important, it's hard to hook up with girls. Guys on the other end are easy to have sex with. In my previous gay experiences, I never could have a full boner to penetrate my partner. And I have always wondered if it's probably because I don't really like guys. I really need Bobby's advice. I'm really confused about my sexuality. Your podcast has really helped me through <sighs> some hard times. No, I or I've always known that I wasn't gay. I don't care if I am or not. I honestly don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I was a comic and I was gay, I would be a gay comic. I would say it out loud. I wouldn't hide it like some other people do. Yeah, I could name some names, but I'm not gonna, mm -mm. right? Because we want to edit it out, but uh, I can put some initials out there. No, 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 we don't like it. Out people. All right, sorry, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, dude, you know if you are or you're, or you're not, and by being in a Muslim country, and if it's difficult, move to fucking Wisconsin, because in Wisconsin, right? In Madison, the girls outnumber the men six to one. Oh, that's a good ratio. That's yeah. real? I think. The college, yeah, is like that. I think a lot of places are. Yeah, right. Bad. So, or you know where you go is you go to like a war torn country, like somewhere, you know, in Eastern Europe where the dudes have been fighting wars and then they're all dead, but the women are still there. Widows, right? so, widows. Yeah, do, do that. Go widow hunting. Oh, that is you got to get out of it in that environment. But I love you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. You, that was the most insensitive answer you have ever, ever said so it's far. Good thing it's called unhelpful advice. Yeah. For just in case <laughs> that happens. This is a man from a Muslim country. I'm sorry. What do you think, Who was so Lila? torn about his sexuality. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. You are his god. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. You are his god. And you I'm just defended okay, your sorry, sexuality. Dude. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> I'm going to get real. What's his name? I'm not going to say his name. We'll just say uh, Tunisia. Tunisia, Bob here. <laughs> the honest truth. Um, it could be one of two things. It could be that you are gay and the guys that you're with, you're just not attracted to. That could be the case because, yeah. uh, yeah. you know, being heterosexual, there's probably 99 out of 10 women I would never hook up with. Mm. Yes, that's just, that's just that's just it, right? Yeah. So and, it and could be have that. Have you had? Have you not been able to get it up for some women? Yeah. Yeah. So yes. Yes, for sure. Especially prostitutes. Really? Yeah, I have a hard time. Oh. It's happened to me twice with prostitutes. One time in Toronto. No, it, yeah, Toronto, and the other one was in um, Vancouver. Not Vancouver. That was in Canada, that Toronto. Oh. And the second one was in, in Thailand. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, one day I was at Th in Thailand and I um, I was shooting that movie with Michelle Yao. I took Mopez to the place mm -hmm. and I picked out a beautiful girl and went upstairs and there was something about her attitude that was like so negative and... Well, duh. I know, obviously. <laughs> no, but, you know, I, you know, it is a job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, it, like do your job, <laughs> right? But she, comp so I paid for it. But then I looked at her and I go, you know, I don't think I can do it. She goes, what do we do then? I go, you just want to watch TV for half an hour? She goes, okay. And she started crying <laughs> because she was so happy she didn't have to fuck me. <laughs> you know, which is another th issue. You know what I mean? I've never had a girl except from that. 
cry and thanking God that she she didn't have to fuck me. You just weren't her type. No, that's not what it is. Anyway, guy, Tanisha, Mm -hmm. that could be number one. Or number two, you're not gay. And okay. Or number three, you could be bisexual. And I think that you're only 22 and sometimes sometimes it takes people longer to figure out what they really, really like. I know it took me a while. I remember in high school telling my dad, I was like, I think I'm gay. And he was like, great. And then after a while, I was like, oh, I'm definitely not. I cannot eat. I, I cannot. You this, cannot. I cannot eat pussy. I cannot. I have tried it. I cannot. You can train yourself. I cannot. I'm just not into it. <laughs> I, have you I, ever I met, it. Have you ever eaten Jessica's pussy? What? Oh my god! Why would you ask? That's my sister. Interesting. Did reaction. you ever f- eat her vagina? Are you kidding me? That is my sister. That's a yes, then. Of course not. Have Have you ever eaten a vagina of someone that I know? No. One time I was. <laughs> I, I could get into list? these like threesomes, right? And um, there was this one time where I thought I was just like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm probably bisexual. And I'm, I was so proud of this fact. And I thought I was so down for the experience. And I just I just couldn't do it. I did it. And after a while, I was like, what have I done? It felt so wrong. I'm not, I am definitely not. Um, You're looking very nervous right now. You're gripping your shirts so tight. I'm telling you right now, it was not a good experience for me. And that's how, that's what solidified it for me. I was like, I am not into okay, pussy let, in this all right, way. All right, let's, let's do a scenario then. Who would you eat their vagina? You have to pick one of these people. Condoleezza Rice. No, I'm not. I'm going to give you the three. <laughs> what? I'm going to give you the three. I'm going to give you the three, okay? Definitely not a lesbian. I'm going to give you the three, okay? If you had to if do it. If I had it, to, if I had to. Right, if you had to, right? Yeah. Jessica? Oh, no. I already know. Oh, well, wait. Your sister. No, no. There you go. Give, her, give another hard one. It's your sister, Kawenda? Yeah. Or your mom. There it is. Oh, <laughs> my. You get a pick. You get a pick. God. You have to pick one of the three. Just or one. what? Or what? You, I'm or, just going to fucking kill myself. No, no, no. You no. have to pick no, it. No, I cannot. Here's the thing. You <laughs> yeah. actually, in this scenario, you can't die at Groundhog's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Of course, I choose the person not related to Which? Me. Say the name. We would, I Jessica. Would, the one. The so you have. <laughs> what, that, <laughs> that's your logic? <laughs> yeah, it's my logic. You have, bitch. <laughs> Nasty bitch right there. Black Mirror. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, wow, we learned a lot. Ask me who I would blow. Oh, I know you'd blow anybody. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Between my brother and my dad, there's no way. I feel like you choose both. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, you, Steve. Yeah, your father. Yeah, George Kimmel. He'd blow George. Oh, that's a no. Hard. Actually, that's no. a. There you go. There you go. No, he'd blow his he'd... brother. Steve. Over oh! George. <laughs> Over him, because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. Why. <laughs> Who's that? That's, That's what you. I look like as a woman. That is so you. much hotter that than I do. Really now. ugly, Jake. Ugly. George. Oh come, come on! I've seen in my fucking life, George. God oh my it. god! I, 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 because I would have a conversation with Steve that would make it okay. I think. Like oh, a, your dude, poor dude, brother. dude! If I don't do it, humanity dies. George is my other option. I know oh, you he, hate George. You wouldn't. You want me to? You want to? You want me to give George pleasure? Yeah. My brother's like, no, dude. That's the angle. When I go, well, then I'm gonna have to blow you. <laughs> That's that dad had a stroke. You want me to blow dad? He had a stroke. That's the angle. That's Here, the angle. No, here's the thing. I would I would choose to blow your dad if I were you. Yeah. Because, you know, he's already older. But it's so the dad. memory the he doesn't have to remember it for the rest of his life. Your brother But Bobby has to, has to live with it. I know, but no, Steve has to live with getting blown for like forty more years. Wow, there's a lot of I can I can only imagine George. blowing my dad and having him say stuff in his stroke like you know, mindset. Stop, man. You, him saying, you go, you go moose and you see you go. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> like, if I was blowing my dad, because I wouldn't be able to say, right? And he's still alive and conscious, uh, right? So I, he would have to say, he would say something. No way. No. That's not, my dad's not going to close out his life with that. That's yeah, his that's closer. A, that's a bad right? way to go. Out. I will never blow him. I will never blow this guy. My brother. Anyway, listen to. <laughs> thank you so much for listening to another episode of Tiger Belly. Wonderful. That was fun. Yeah. Goodbye.
All right, guys, we'd like to uh, thank our sponsors, uh, Quip, Ridge Wallet, Voodoo, and Manscaped. For free Quip refill pack with your order, go to getquip.com slash belly. Get 10% off your sleek front carry wallet at ridgewallet.com slash slept. And use the promo code slept, S-L-E-P-T. And to watch some of the movies we talked about and many more, head over to voodoo.com slash tigerbelly and start watching today. And get 20% off free shipping and a travel bag at manscaped.com using promo code belly. And if you want more Tiger Belly in your life, and if you're listening now, you obviously do, get premium audio episodes every week only at patreon.com slash tigerbelly. I'm sorry, I'm just, I love that Bobby would not suck your dick, but we'll suck. I'm still a family like, that. I think Thinking about like Jessica. traumatized by that discussion. I'm, I'm both mad and traumatized. Yeah. Hey, thanks to everyone who wrote us an iTunes review this week. You helped us get in the top, not 30, but 20. Oh. And if you haven't yet, will you leave us a review? And to everybody who has an interesting problem, you want some bad advice or good advice, we have a new email for unhelpful advice, and that is adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. Kalala, where can we follow you, even though I know you're kind of like out of your body right now? Oof, yeah. I give it shudders. Um, you can find me um, on all social media platforms at uh, Calamity K. And you get everything Bobby Lee at Bobby Lee Live dot com. Everyone, have a wonderful night. And play this game we just played with your other family members. No, don't do that. Do it on Christmas. Bye. <laughs>